Withdrawal of nominations for second phase of Lok Sabha elections 2024 ends today, calling for 88 Lok Sabha seats in 12 states and union territories along with remaining part of outer Manipur Lok Sabha constituency slated for April 26. Union Home Minister Amit Shah likely to visit Manipur to campaign for the upcoming 18th Lok Sabha elections. Preparations for public meeting going on full swing at Imphal's Hapta Kandribu. Congress party files complaint to Chief Electoral Officer against recruitment process by various departments of Manipur government despite imposition of election model code of conduct. Maite Lipun says ensuing Lok Sabha elections crucial for Maite community. Maite Lipun demands resolutions to end Manipur crisis from major political parties, Congress and BJP instead of bickering each other. Manipur Democratic Alliance declares support for inner Manipur Lok Sabha candidate from BJP TH Basanta Kumar and NPF candidate for outer Manipur seat K. Timothy Zimik. Governor Anusuya Uiki, Chief Minister N. Biren and others send warm greetings to people of Manipur on the auspicious occasion of Sajibu Nongma Panba Cherauba, Manipuri New Year's Day 2024. And Manipur's bodybuilder K. Arnold bags a gold medal in recently held 13 Federation Cup Senior Bodybuilding and Physics Sports National Championship in Goa. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Joyce Rubusham, bringing you the top stories and latest news at this hour. Withdrawal of nominations for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections 2024 ended today. In the second phase, polling will be held on April 26 for 88 Lok Sabha seats in 12 states and union territories, along with the remaining part of the outer Manipur Lok Sabha constituency. A part of the outer Manipur constituency will go to polls in the first phase on April 19. 20 seats of Kerala, 14 seats of Karnataka, 13 seats of Rajasthan, 8 seats each of Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra, 7 seats of Madhya Pradesh, 5 seats each in Assam and Bihar, 3 seats each of West Bengal and Chhattisgarh, and 1 seat each in Manipur, Tripura and Jammu and Kashmir will go to polls in the second phase. Union Home Minister Amit Shah is likely to visit Manipur to campaign for the upcoming 18th Lok Sabha elections. Though the Union Minister's state visit is yet to be confirmed, preparations for a public meeting are going on full swing at Imphal's Hapta Kangjibung. Impact News brings you a special report. I could have seen the Hapta Kangjibung here in the Palace Compound. I could have seen the Hapta Kangjibung. Miam tin biar bah, hari ini pun pangtok payah bagi mohon dah sem sawi tabuk sahri. Hari ini bersih kumpul tabuk sahri bersih. Kau ini impact news tentang pangkok pangkok macam ini. Union home ini sangat macam hasil lang leba April terada. Infalat tunggu lebih ayah hari ini pangkok sih kami lelai nana. Mak nak kari kumpul hantar pangtok itu. Ini ramu auto manipul balam itu konsuensi sih ki election campaign tahun nana bah manipul dah lakpa tarik di mak ini pun sih dalam pangtok payah nana bah mangsa nana istis. Nasib bah sahaban ini, hari begitu pun pawai pangi. Aduh, mungkin nama kau ini, thasa biaya apa pawai mungkin ini nanti. Lagi ibu tera asida, ini orang hamis sebab sah. Impal dah lakukan hari bersih, sabt sah bah confirmation ibu pawai nanti. Mak asih kerana ini betul lakukan hari begitu sabt sah bah pawai supaya begitu light tree hari bawah maduni. Aduh, mungkin nama mak asih kerana ini betul lakukan hari tergak lakui hari begitu pawai sabt sah na fangtrik taraga sukar ibu mama na by chance. Impal dah lakpa taraga di. Kudak ta mak kimi. Mungkin orang pangtuk nana by stay samsung tuan tuan bah. Miam tin biaw mungkin dosen kau sahaja pusing asing. Ngam luar dunia mungkin orang. Mari ni pusing yang macam ni. Jadi mangsa mana stay sama sung niam tin biaw mungkin dah sungguh sabuk itu tabuk sebaik puni hari. Polun sendiri bawa kamera personal El Sabasar mengeluarkan lal paling big news inform. Congress party today filed a complaint to Chief Electoral Officer Lumphill against recruitment process by various departments of Manipur government despite the imposition of election model code of conduct. The party files the complaint against the alleged ongoing recruitment process despite the imposition of model code of conduct in 13 departments of government of Manipur led by the BJP. The departments are Sericulture, Agriculture, Education S, Ayush, 
minor irrigation, veterinary, forest and MSPCL among others. Speaking on the sidelines, MPCC Legal Department Vice Chairman Rabi Khan asserted that ongoing recruitment in 13 government departments of Manipur is gross violation of Lok Sabha election model code of conduct. He expressed suspicion of hidden agenda behind the same and asked whether it is to gain election benefit. Rabi Khan said the party will even approach the ECI if CEO Manipur failed to initiate any actions. Maite Lipun says ensuing Lok Sabha elections in Manipur is a crucial one for deciding the fate of the Maite community and demands resolutions to end Manipur crisis from major political parties, especially Congress and BJP, instead of bickering each other to gain political mileage. Speaking to media at the Maite Lipun office in Langol today, Maite Lipun Thogurel M. Pramod said the Manipur crisis resulted owing to illegal immigration, encroachment of forest reserves for illegal poppy plantations, drug trades, among others. He stressed the need for NRC implementation in the state with base year 1951 to flush out illegal immigrants and asked why the Congress party has been opposing NRC implementation with a 1951 base year in the state. He mentioned that the 2011 Congress Working Committee meeting resolved against the NRC. Pramod also slammed the BJP for not resolving Manipur crisis which has crossed 11 months. He demanded clarification from the BJP why the central forces it has sent us seems to be against the Maite people. Ironically, after stating that the upcoming election is a crucial one, M. Pramod said there are chances of Maite people being attacked by Kuki people during the election, so Maite Lipun will refrain from getting involved in the upcoming election. Honorable CM support to Bahibase, Congress BJP, two Oga, Shigi Hyde of Manipuri, Genes and Amadi Manipuri, Integrity, Kanabuki, the Hyde of Steps in the local of Shima Kanbibes, of Prazako de Muki, Jutini and Kali, BJP, come out, open the Away election or Gana Shitonis, my Tony, Nakaja and Hyde with Sana in the regular Labour, Hanaki elections in the Hana Hanagi, the two O, BJP Kande, Congress Kande, Prazas in the Nui Pamisha, I know Nuita, which I know Stata Hanga, she had no high hand lager, a Shanga Senator of Boto, Padana Warrior, nor what others in. Manipur Democratic Alliance declares its support for inner Manipur Lok Sabha candidate from BJP TH Basanta Kumar and NPF candidate for outer Manipur seat K Timothy Zimik. Sif Sena Manipur President and MDA Convener M. Tombi announced the same at Sif Sena Manipur Pradesh office in Imphal's Babupara today. M. Tombi said, the decision to support candidates from BJP and NPF, which are ally of the NDA, are, was taken after much deliberation. He added that both the BJP and NPF candidates are well qualified. Stating that the upcoming election is a crucial one, he appealed for public support in electing a well-deserving candidate. It may be mentioned that MDA is formed by 10 political parties, which are BJP, Sif Sena, MNDF, RLJD, LJD, PDA, NPF, NPP, MPC, and LJPR. Members of these political parties were present during the press meet. National Democratic Alliance ki adukumba candidate animak ekoi shagotta ba yadav ki pungbham mama lakpana maram orakanda ekoi mod amoto ina warib lawrga ekoi Manipur Democratic Alliance ki haan ki political party punamak amoto chitha dana ekoi support tau ure haina ekoi Manipur Democratic Alliance ki mekhe dhiki lao sokchari ekoi ki election sida ekoi ki tasheng na ekoi ki isha ki bhot maman lehi na bhot thadabiyo hanak ki election sida dee ekoi 
Achumba me hood kaloche, Aduga, I quay, Shanti, Uina, I quayki, Hojik, two evil lands, you know, Shinanam Honoda, I quay Punama, Lady will come and sit, I quay Matin Bangshe. Candidate for Inner Manipur Lok Sabha parliamentary seat from RPI Atawale, Maheshwar Thanaujam reiterated that he is contesting the election from RPI A as he wanted to work freely for the welfare of the state without any inhibition from party central leaders, as in the case of other major political parties. Maheshwar said he doesn't have a fate in the Congress party as its leader Rahul Gandhi failed to do anything to resolve Manipur crisis. He was speaking on the sidelines of seeking blessings from sacred sites in Moirang and meeting with the local women there. He also interacted with women folk from Changangai and Segarot Konzeng Hazari Lekai. District Supply Officer DSO Imphal East begins the distribution of rice to NAFSA cardholders of Katrigao Assembly Constituency. DSO Imphal East Civil Supply Inspector Karnajit Chanambam said beneficiaries were deprived of their rice quota for four months as their ration cards were withheld by Fair Price Shop FPS agents of the constituency and the agents released the cards yesterday. Rice quota for beneficiaries of Kongba Nongthongbam Lekai, Kongba Laishram Lekai, and Thambal Kong under FPS number 93 of the constituency was distributed at Kongba Youth Organization Ground in Kongba Nongthongbam Lekai today. Speaking on the sidelines, Civil Inspector, Civil Supply Inspector Karnajit said distribution of rice to beneficiaries will continue until they get their pending rice quota. Nafsa Beneficiary and Secretary of Kongba Nongthumbam Lekai Women Association, Tiam Sarjubala said distribution of Nafsa rice which started on April 5 was put on hold owing to controversy over withholding of ration cards of the beneficiaries. She said withholding of the ration cards of the beneficiaries also deprived them of various government welfare schemes such as labor cards, children's scholarships and Ujwala Yojana. She accused the local MLA of getting hold of their ration cards. She said a NAFSA beneficiaries who were deprived of Russian rice had complained to the relevant authorities upon which the MLA released their Russian cards through FPS agents yesterday. Administrative function of Kakching Kuno College has been put on hold in the wake of many of its uh, teaching and non-teaching staff being assigned a Lok Sabha election duty and they have to be on training and some staff are on personal leave. Kakching Kuno College Student Union in a video release today said the students of the college are facing inconveniences in carrying out their forms fill up and admission process. The uh, union debate and extension secretary K. Sagar questioned why there is closure of the administration block when there is no official declaration of holiday in the college today. He appeals to the relevant authorities to look into the matter. Police said the staff is not available. Ladies, staff is not available. The department is not At least, the staff is not available. The staff is not available. The staff is not available. The administration block is not available. The staff is not available. But the staff is not available. 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 Authority 
A combined team of Manipur police and Assam rifles recovered several weapons during a search operation at Champhai Hill Range under Sawambung subdivision in Imphal East district today. Acting on a tip-off, state police force along with 18 Assam rifles and 28 Assam rifles carried out the operation this morning. Recovered items are 1.22 rifle, 15 hand grenade, 7 tube launcher, 28 illuminated JMK 3T ODR, 39 life rounds of 303, 7 empty cartridges, 20 life round of MK 12T ODR, 1 buffing walkie talkie with charger, and 1 magazine box. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on announcement by International Salai Punsipam regarding distribution of sacred water from the sacred shrines of Kogru Chingdol Lainto Sanamahi to devotees in connection with Sajibu Nongma Panba Chairauba. Keep watching Impact News. Hospital, 24 x 7 emergency trauma care service. Road traffic accident, cock sopa, BP stroke, brain tumor, spine nava, amasung, dix nantokona singba, lana lam singamak, neurosurgery, OPD consultation, itum saba, chayulamagimanda, Ningoka, the Gitans of Hoba, Lumit Kudinga, Yukung Tarama to the gate, Lumit Yumbamatung, Pungarani to Makai Hoba, Miam the Pangan Jeragani, Lunina, CMHD, PMZ, a white card, five patients, Singisu, treatment, Yukudum Saba Sulajere, appointment Gidamak, mobile number, nine six one two four five zero nine five four, the contact of you. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. As in the previous years, International Salai Punsi Firm will distribute water from the sacred shrine of Kaubru Chingdol Lining Thau Sanamahi to devotees in connection with Sajibu Nongma Panba Cheraoba. Udra Shanglen Sana Konung and International Salai Punsi Firm Headquarter 2 will distribute the water from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. The sacred water from eight different shrines will be distributed at Udra Shanglen Sana Konung. International Salai Punsi Firm Headquarter Lamsang, International Salai Punsi Firm City Office Terra Kuraizam Lekai, Naurem Thong Ipa Thaukok Club, International Salai Punsi Firm 33rd Loisang Maitram, International Salai Punsi Firm Thanga Loisang, Sinam Mirel near Utlao Kangjebung, Lamdong Pharmacy Bishnupur, Y Kangleima in Thangwaiban Sinam Lekai, Y Nongdam Len Sagol Tongba Kaitel, Kabam Bamdiar near Nambol Kori Faba Lining Tau, International Salai Punsifam Kurai Loisang Konzam Lekai, Urembam Maning Lairag Ikon Mapal and International Salai Punsifam Iram Sifai Loisang among others. Governor Nusuya Wiki sends warm greetings to people of Manipur on the auspicious occasion of Sajibu Nongma Panba Cherauba, Manipuri New Year's Day 2024. In her message, the governor says, New Year is an occasion to rejoice and for setting new resolutions and calls for upon everyone to resolve that Cherauba 2024 will be a harbinger of peace and harmony in the violent stone state. She appeals to strive together for a better Manipur, setting apart our differences and working for a common goal and to rededicate ourselves to strengthen the bonds of friendship so that all the communities can live as brothers and sisters notwithstanding differences in caste, creed, language and religion. Chief Minister Nong Biren also conveys warm greetings to people of Manipur on the auspicious occasion of Sajibu Nong Mapanba Chairauba. In his message, the Chief Minister says the festival marks the end of the previous year 
and onset of a new year. He exhorts the people of Manipur to renew the strong fraternal bond and unity among different communities and strive for bringing an inclusive development in the state while seeking uh, peace, prosperity and happiness for all. He wishes that the festival may fill us all with positivity and zeal to our dreams into reality and efforts into achievement. He urges all to dedicate ourselves to taking Manipur to greater heights. Rural Development and Panchayati Raj and Mahut Minister Yumnam Kemchan also sends a warm, gre warm greetings on the auspicious occasion of Sajibu Noma Panba Cherauba. He wishes peace, prosperity and harmony in the state. United Committee Manipur UCM also sends a warm greetings to people of Manipur, especially to Maiti community on the auspicious occasion of Sajibu Cherauba. The CSO body wishes end of uh, turmoil in Manipur, peace and prosperity in the state. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee also conveys warm wishes on the auspicious occasion of Manipuri New Year Sajibugi Noma Panba Cherauba. The 8th Federal Assembly of Chandil Naga People's Organization CNPO 2021-2024 was held at Chandan Pokpi village in Chandil district today. CNPO Deputy Speaker McDonald Chinir chaired the session as Speaker and Assembly Secretary S.R. Angton as Recording Secretary. Jote Tribe Union Klam hosted the Federal Assembly. CNPO Chief and Federal Units, subordinate bodies under CNPO and Naga Tribe Presidents and Executive Councils in Chandil attended the Assembly session. Chandil Naga Christian Fellowship President, Naga Women Union Chandil President and representatives of Naga Students Union Chandil also took part in the session. Lairi Gengbam Lekai Gram Panchayat along with local Maira Pai B Loop has uh, extended financial help to 98 displaced people, displaced families who are taking refuge at relief camps open at Kakching Kunau and Wangu. Lairi Gengbam Lekai Maira Pai B Loop Secretary Y Indrani and Pradhan Tombi distributed the monetary help. Yumnam Rajeshwar Singh, a military historian from Manipur along with a member of the Royal Gurkha Signal Regiment, had the honour of reading out the names of all the Indian soldiers who lost their lives at Kanglatongbi during World War II at the Burma Star Memorial National Memorial Arbiterum in Staffordshire, UK yesterday. The ceremony was conducted by Reverend Dr. Andrew Sangster, a respected military historian and accomplished writer. The 80th anniversary commemoration of the Battle of Imphal could not be organized because of the ongoing ethnic conflict in the state. However, the 70th and 75th anniversaries were celebrated in Imphal in 2014 and 2019 with notable international involvement. A resident of Chingmai Rong, Imphal, Yumnam Rajeshwar called the role of honour for the 75 Indian soldiers who lost their lives in the Battle of Kangratongbi. The recitation of the names of the fallen in public during this remembrance in the UK is a historic first. Families from throughout the United Kingdom, including two whose fathers had received the military cross, came to give their condolences. Religious leaders from the Christian, Sikh, Hindu and Muslim faiths said prayers for the fallen warriors. Along with uh, Beck Piper and Bugler, the celebration featured a march of active military personnel and veterans. A brave detachment from the 221 Advance Ordnance Depot made a strong fight against the Japanese forces' attempts to break the lines leading to Imphal during the turbulent years of World War II, 1942-1945. to 1945. On the evening of April 6, 1944, their tenacity stopped the enemy's assault and changed the course of the conflict. Japanese forces launched a major assault on the depot of, on the night of April 6, 7, 1944, resulting in severe battle. The enemy attack was repulsed by the defenders who included a brain gun section stationed in a tactically camouflaged bunker despite overwhelming odds. The defenders inflicted heavy casualties and forced their retreat. A military memorial was built to honor them for their extraordinary bravery, sacrifice and heroism in remembrance of the Battle of Kangla Tongbi, also referred to as the Battle of Lion Box. 
Lucknow based uh, Wordy Wellness Foundation has conferred Bishma Ratna Samman 2024 to writer Wahing Bam Nimai Chan from Kurai Thang Jamlekai for his contribution in promoting Manipuri language and literature. In a significant ruling, the Supreme Court of India has expanded the scope of Articles 14 and 21 to include the right against the adverse effects of climate change. The Supreme Court said climate change impacts the constitutional guarantee of the right to equality. The apex court bench headed by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud said, without a clean environment which is stable and unimpacted by the vagaries of climate change, the right to life is not fully realized. The right to health, which is a part of the right to life under Article 21 is impacted due to factors such as air pollution, shifts in vector-borne diseases, rising temperatures, droughts, shortages in food supplies due to crop failure, storms and flooding. The Apex Court said the same while constituting a committee to find a balance between conservation of critically endangered Great Indian Bustard and renewable energy infrastructure in the states of Rajasthan and Gujarat yesterday. Now the sports news. Manipur's bodybuilder K. Arnold bags a gold medal in the 13th Federation Cup Senior Bodybuilding and Physique Sports National Championship recently held under the aegis of Indian Bodybuilders Federation at Goa's Vasco. K. Arnold of All Manipur Bodybuilders Association won gold in the 80kg category and NG Surchandra backed the silver in the 85kg category, while W. Kiran stood fourth in 75kg category and Kanrin Saiza secured fifth position in the 65th kg category. A total of 250 players from across the country, including Manipur's Y. Chinglin, P. Nandajit, Kanrin Saiza, W. Kiran, K. Arnold, and NG Surchandra competed in the championship for different weight categories. Manipur team manager was K. Anand and coach was Y. Nilbir. Manipur's Lysram Deep Singh in his sixth professional fight defeated Haryana's Harsh Kumar in cruiser weight category of the Sindhu team professional fight in Farooq Nagar, Delhi yesterday. Lysram Deep Singh knocked out Harsh Kumar at 3 minutes 38 seconds of the fight. Lystrom Deep Singh is a boxing coach at Aztec Sports, founder of Aztec Sports and fight studio Dr. Thangjam Pramanda Lodz Deep for bringing Laurel for the state. Now before we end, uh, let's take a look at headlines once again. Withdrawal of nominations for second phase of Lok Sabha elections 2024 ends today. Polling for 88 Lok Sabha seats in 12 states and union territories along with remaining part of outer Manipur Lok Sabha constituency slated for April 26. Union Home Minister Amit Shah likely to visit Manipur to campaign for the upcoming 18th Lok Sabha elections. Preparations for public meeting going on full swing at Imphal's Hapta Kangjipu. Congress party files complaint to Chief Electoral Officer against recruitment process by various departments of Manipur government despite imposition of election model code of conduct. Maite Lipun says ensuing 18 Lok Sabha elections crucial for Maite community. Maite Lipun demands resolutions to end Manipur crisis from major political parties, Congress and BJP, instead of bickering each other. Manipur Democratic Alliance declares support for inner Manipur Lok Sabha candidate from BJP TH Basanta Kumar and NPF candidate for outer Manipur seat K Timothy Zimi. Governor Anusuya Wiki, Chief Minister N. Biren and others send warm greetings to people of Manipur on the auspicious occasion of Sajibu Nongma Panba Cherauba Manipuri New Year's Day 2024. And Manipur's bodybuilder K. Arnold bags a gold medal in recently held 13th Federation Cup Senior Bodybuilding and Physics Sports National Championship in Goa. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipur Bulletin. Have a great evening and stay safe.
Impact TV ki subscriber singi ma phamda nungai ra ba pauzel ama puzera kli lakli ba April ama dagi chana ba haugata ba ahongwa mamalsu oiba anoba monthly resource plan kaya puzera kli plan sing adu